King Charles felt abandoned during his childhood as the young royal only had 15 minutes of contact with his parents a day. Royal author Christopher Anderson claimed the Queen and Prince Philip did not visit the hospital when Charles had surgery and broke his ankle. Speaking to Royally Us, Mr. Anderson said, he felt abandoned as a little boy by both of his parents. He wrote about how his mother was cold and aloof and how his father was a bully. His father belittled him in front of people. I have many reports of how Charles as a child was routinely reduced to tears by Prince Philip. They only saw him for 15 minutes a day during his upbringing. Even though they were there, they did not go to Charles' birthdays, they did not show up in the hospital when he broke his ankle, when he had an emergency appendectomy, the Queen would nt leave the palace which was just 50 blocks away. The revelation comes as the King and Queen consorts visit to a major exhibition showcasing Africa's fashion talent has been described as a symbolic moment by a leading men's designer. Fashion designer Oswald Boateng met the royal couple after their guided tour of the exhibition and praised their decision to visit the attraction staged at London's VA Museum and appeared to joke with Charles about making him a suit. The king revealed he had sent a private donation in the wake of the devastating Nigerian floods. When he chatted to the founder of Lagos Fashion Week during the visit he requested, ahead of the state visit by the South African President Cyril Ramaphosa later this month. Edward Enenful, editor-in-chief of British Vogue, joined his industry colleague when he met the king and his wife and said about the exhibition, For me it's amazing for the world to see what Africa has brought to the world in terms of design, culture so the timing is perfect, I'm so thrilled. Boateng added, As a start position, I think this is a great start and I'm hoping to see much more of this and to have King Charles come and visit and show this level of interest is very very symbolic.